Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Ivan Bolan from In a Time of Violence, uh, published by W.W. W. Norton in 1994. The poem I'm going to read is entitled The Parcel. <clears throat> There are dying arts, and one of them is the way my mother used to make up a parcel. Paper first, mid-brown and coarse grain as wood, the worst sort for covering a Latin book neatly or laying flat at Christmas on a pudding bowl. It was a big cylinder. She snipped it open, and it unrolled quickly across the floor, all business, all distance. Then the scissors, not a glittering let up, but a dour pair, black thumb holes, the shears themselves the color of rained on steps, a man with a grindstone climbed up in the season of lilac and snapdragon, and stood there arguing the rate for sharpening the lawnmower and the garden pair, and this one, all in. The ball of twine was coarsely braided and only a shade less yellow than the flame she held under the blunt end of the ceiling wax until it melted and spread into a brittle, brittle terracotta metal, her hair disheveled, her tongue between her teeth. She wrote the address in the quarters twine had divided the surface into, names and places, crayon and fountain pen, the town underlined once, the country twice. It's ready for the post, she would say. And if we want to know where it went to, a craft lost before we missed it, watch it go into the burlap sack for collection, Let see it disappear, say this is how it died out among doomed steamships and outdated trains. The tracks for them disappearing before our eyes, next to station names we can't remember, on a continent we no longer recognize, the ceiling wax cracking, the twine unraveling, the destination illegible. Um, that was The Parcel by Ivan Boland from In a Time of Violence, W.W. W. Norton, 1994. If you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the video description, read the description in the video for more information about this poet, uh, Yvonne Bolan, and uh, her poetry and where to purchase this particular book, as well as more information about other projects that I'm currently working on. Um, if you want to support this channel, there are some very easy ways to do so. You can like these videos, hit the thumbs up button. You can comment below and make suggestions or ask questions or, or just in general, uh, let me know what you think about these poems and what you would like to see next. And uh, consider subscribing to the channel. If you hit the bell icon, you can be subscribed. It'll notify you every time there's a new video, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, I enjoy making these videos. Uh, there's no real money in it for me whatsoever, but it is a delight for me to, to be able to return to poems and books that I love, as well as to immerse myself in new books and new poets that I don't know and discover something that is worthy of celebration, worthy of sharing. So I hope in some small way, this series allows you a bit of an adventure, a bit of a journey into the words and minds of others, and perhaps kindles in your heart and in your mind a desire to write. Perhaps maybe it's no more than a desire to read. Um, but wherever it is, begin there and uh, hopefully move forward, continuing to create, continuing to imagine, finding opportunities to do something wonderful with the language that we've been given. Um, I'm grateful for all of you and for your support and wish you all the very best. If you, um, well, I guess we'll see each other very soon in a couple days. Um, and uh, until then, stay safe and well. Uh, stay warm as winter is coming and uh, keep on writing and reading and finding ways to build community one poem, one line, one word at a time. Um, and whether it's yours or someone else's, use that as an opportunity to form this larger conversation and be a part of it. So we'll see you all again soon. And uh, until then, stay safe and well, and we'll be back.